was just hearing different things. Go ahead, I got you, I got you live. Going on air to Tampa, Florida right now. We can tell because, check this out. Little sign says Tampa, Florida. <laughs> I'm gonna say I am a little bit nervous right at the moment. I don't get nervous that much. Uh, in fact, I'm a lot more comfortable doing all the stuff that I do for you guys, YouTube stuff. Basically every major uh, city in the country is doing one. Uh, first up, Baltimore, Kansas City, Minneapolis, Detroit, Tampa, Albuquerque, Washington DC, Las Vegas, San Francisco. There's like 20 of these things on here. But I'm doing all of this because I have a new show on the Science Channel that I'm hosting. It's a whole series. Um, here's the trailer, check it out. The most peculiar places on Earth. And it's baffled scientists for centuries. We're here to try to figure out what's going on. I have no agenda, I'm just here to find the truth. So we're actually able to see an anomaly right here. Looks like a crawl space, like right in this region right here. Looks like it could be a tunnel. So there's a whole bunch of intertwined tunnels. I think we found something in there. That means is there's no tutorial this week. We'll be on regular programming next week. But I wanted to take you guys inside so you can see what this whole thing looks like, how it all works. Um, whoa, that's nice because it's new to me too. Oh, hi. Hi, hi there. Hi. Hey. I'm Jennifer. Welcome. Oh, hi. Thank you. Welcome. Rob. Elizabeth, makeup artist. Elizabeth. Hi. I sit here in this chair, satellite link to other stations. We're broadcasting now, apparently. <laughs> right now we're talking about a new show is going exploring. They're checking out everything from the secret tunnels of Alcatraz to Al Capone's underground passageways used during prohibition. Join us now as host Rob Nelson talk about secrets of the underground. Rob, I have to tell you, I'm from Oak Park River Forest in Illinois, an area that is known for a lot of mobsters. So this is so exciting. I have to watch the show. Yeah, I'm really excited to finally get to share it with everybody. It's been eight months. We've just been walking all across the US using tech, try to solve these problems that have baffled scientists for ages. And one of the ones I think that's most attractive to people are these stories of Al Capone. So you mentioned science a little bit. How are you bringing together history and science to make people stay awake? Just kidding. <laughs> well, we're able to kind of piece it together in a story that's, I think, really fascinating. It's fun. I, I think what'll happen, if you're not interested in science, you're going to like the show, though. And I don't think most people will have ever heard of most of these. It seriously is so cool. And I was completely joking before because I was watching a preview and I just wanted so much more. What's the craziest thing you've discovered so far? Well, they're all really fascinating, obviously. But uh, the one thing I enjoyed the most was in Texas. We found a little tiny sinkhole that was in a neighborhood. And when you drop down into it, the entire wall is covered in mastodon bones. I mean, not just like little bits here and there, like the entire wall. But I was holding at one point an entire bone of a mastodon it 10,000 years ago um, and it was just holding it in my hands that that was one of the more fascinating things I think how do you pick these locations do you already have a set plan on where you're gonna go or or how does that process work obviously I'm one of a giant team that's trying to figure out where all these stories are but a lot of these have been uh, noted by scientists in the past so the one in san antonio was a small article written by a scientist about this cave but somehow nobody took it any further and so we contacted the guy and said we'd like to know more about this cave and so you know he took us down there and the story is fascinating and I'm surprised a lot of these things haven't had more press and so I think that's the thing I'm most proud of with this show is that we're able to give some publicity to things that haven't had it before.
So cool. Rob, if you need an intern, let me know, will ya? For sure, but definitely <laughs> check it out. It's, it's tomorrow night, Valentine's. Ooh, uh, what a way to PM. start. I love Eastern, it. So nine central. Thanks so much for joining <laughs> us, Rob. We're clear. That was the last one. Woo! Okay, everybody, Secrets of the Underground, check it out. Valentine's night, 10 p.m. And um, I want to thank these guys for being so awesome. That was fun. Hopefully you guys saw some of this on your local TV networks. I don't know if any of you even watch TV anymore, but it's here online, on YouTube. We'll see you next Tuesday.